Welcome to LID, 1,040 metres of arduous, narrow, but very testing tarmac here in Kent. And to take us around the lap is senior Rotax Grand Prix plate winner, Morgan Porter. Morgan, let's have a lap of LID. Yeah, let's go through it. I'm uh, excited to show you the, the difficulties of uh, such an enduring circuit. Here we are at the first corner of the LID International Circuit. And Morgan, it's a very short run from the start line to this very technical S's. Indeed, it is a very, very short run. It's probably the shortest run in the UK, to be honest with you. Uh, and it's very tight, very tight indeed. You've got one line, and if you're not on it, then I'll, I'm, to be honest with you, I think you're going to be screwed. If you're not hooking up the curb as well, really important to hook up the curb. The curb's the main thing here. Um, so, and it's really enduring as well. If, if you don't hit it right, it pushes you off straight into the bark little trap over here. So, no, it's, it's, uh, it's going to be a tight one at the start. And it also makes deciding on where you start on the inside row or the outside row, like I can imagine the starting on the outside row, two, four, six, those grid positions, is not preferable at all, is it? Uh, yeah, starting on the outside, it's, it's going to be tricky. Trying to fight your way in, especially coming up to this, this big curb here, it's, it's going to be hard. Um, but I think if you fight yourself in, the people on the outside are going to have a hard time uh, keep, keeping it in. Now, once the drivers have negotiated the first S-Bend, they head onto a short straight into a second S-Bend behind us that's just a slightly tighter version of the first couple of corners. But from there, they come into the bottom, the bottom bend where I think we're going to see plenty of overtaking because this braking zone here, Morgan, there's a lot of room for a lunge up the inside. Uh, there certainly is. If you leave the door open, uh, there's, there's going to be plenty of room for lots of people to come through. So you're going to expect to see some people covering this corner. If not, there's going to definitely be some overtakes. But hooking up that second chicane is going to be very important as well. Two very enduring curbs. So it's, uh, it's all about getting that, that uh, second chicane right to get your, your hairpin uh, overtake done right. Now, a lot of drivers I've spoken to this morning have said that overtaking is possible at nearly every corner, but you've got to be brave and you need a bit of cooperation from the driver that you're passing. And I'm noticing there's not a great deal of runoff on the outside of this bend. Uh, there, there is no such as a runoff, especially down here as well. It, there's got to be a, some sort of respect out on the grids. Uh, if there isn't, unfortunately, there are going to be crashes. But uh, yeah, there, there is overtaking opportunities, maybe not at every corner, but there, there is a, a good solid three or four maybe around this track. So from one overtaking opportunity, we go into the only real flowing part of the circuit, the start of the dog leg back towards the paddock. Now, one thing you'll notice about LID is that it's flat. Flat, that is, apart from one little crest just behind us there. And that crest, it, it comes at a really opportunity because you're setting yourself up for running into this, this next sort of series of bends, this right, left, right that leads out onto the back straight. How does that affect the cart when you come over there? And does it uh, create an overtaking opportunity? Uh, it certainly does create an uh, overtaken opportunity, but uh, there's an unforgiven curve on the inside that you've always got to be wary of. Uh, so yeah, no, it's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting little corner. There's none like it in the UK, uh, um, but I'll give you that. Coming over the crest, it unsettles the cart a little bit, uh, but then you can you can set yourself up for this corner. It's really nice. You go over the long like bed, long left hander on, back onto the back straight, and yeah, it's a, it's a really nice little smooth section. Now, eagle-eyed viewers might have noticed that it's slightly breezy here today. <laughs> Morgan, uh, how, would the, how does the wind on a day like this affect the balance of the cart and affect the, you know, the, the pace around the circuit? Uh, well, the, the wind here is a, is a big factor for sure. The, uh, the tow can happen at any little straight that you go through, especially like coming into this, this little bend here, you, you can get a tow just coming into here, especially. So, uh, no, the, the crosswind as well going over the hump can always affect you as well. So in short, another potential action zone there, the crest into the third and the third sort of complex of corners. Yeah, sure is. So we're now on to the approach of the final corner on the circuit. And as you can see, it comes at the end of the longest straight. Now it gives the drivers a chance for a well-earned break, but also a crucial opportunity to slipstream and set up your rivals for either a move into this final corner or to set them up to come out for a move coming out of the final corner onto the start finish race. Uh, yeah, certainly. It's your, your only break on this circuit, 
and uh, to be honest, you can't relax because uh, it's uh, with the with crosswinds like today, you got you always got to watch yourself because there's uh, the slipstream is going to create a lot of overtaking moves down into this corner. So always always watching yourself. Um, but no, it's, uh, it's a nice little straight. It's good to have a little break from a very enduring circuit. Now, it's a very quick lap time, but like you said, it's a very physical lap. Uh, something that would surprise a lot of people here because looking at just the, the flat nature of the place, it is a real physical test for the drivers, isn't it? It, it certainly is. I'll probably, probably put it as the most physical uh, track in the UK. It's uh, very hard. The curbs are very uh, dominating, but no, it's, uh, it's, it's a joy to drive. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely very physically demanding. With 30 second, 36 second lap time around here, there's, there's not much of a break at all. So there you have it. A lap of Lid International Card Circuit with 2020 Senior Otax Grand Prix winner Morgan Porter. Morgan, thank you very much. Best of luck for the weekend. Thank you, Henry. And uh, I'll uh, see you over the course of the weekend too.